When the Harris family truck rolls into the paddock at the Prima Northampton International Raceway in England, everyone takes notice. 24-year-old Tom Harris is Formula One stock car's European champion and national points title holder. And when he comes to race, the whole family come to support him in the series he loves. It's just unbelievable. It's just, you can't, you can't describe it. It's something that, it's just amazing. The, the feeling, it's the noise, the adrenaline, the contact, and the speed of it as well, because these cars aren't slow. It's like one big family, really. Everybody gets on with each other in the pits, but on track, there's no friends. They're all enemies. Formula One stock cars appeal stretches as far as New Zealand, where the World Team Championships are held, and has a big following in Europe, where Tom won the World Final last year. Well, I, uh, I've had a lot of bad luck in championships up until last year, and then I, uh, I won the European Championship here at Northampton. And then we went over to Venray in Holland and won their, the World Cup over in Venray, which is like their world title. The contact's nowhere near as much over there, but it's, it's a similar thing. A lot of the Dutch guys come over to, to England to race especially the big championship meetings. As well as competing with the best in Europe, Tom has his eye on the other side of the Atlantic. Well, we've been over there a few times to watch the World of Outlaws in America, and it's something that I'd absolutely love to, to have a go in and love to do. I was supposed to be having a go in New Zealand a couple of years back, but it didn't come off. I think just to have a go in one of the cars, the speed, the noise, the speed is absolutely unreal. Like 134 mile an hour and a, a 12 second lap on a mile over was absolutely unreal. While Tom dreams of being an outlaw, another member of his family has dreams of her own. Well, I'm Catherine Harris and I race national mini stocks. My hopes and dreams are just to race a Formula One, obviously, and just get used to it and hopefully be like Tom one day and win. Tom's my hero because he tells me what I need to do next and he makes me better and get, builds my confidence up a lot. Racing in the junior mini stocks category, 11-year-old Catherine has already won two heats and a final. My little sister Catherine, well, she's, she's like me, really. She's always wanted to do mini stocks like I did. So uh, when she became 10, we uh, got her a mini stock and, yeah, she's, uh, she's doing really well, actually. If I can give her my experience and what I've learned throughout my years, my dad's obviously going to give her his experience. So hopefully, yeah, we can make her a really good driver. With Father Mick, a former competitor, the Harrises are turning into a racing dynasty. But back home, they're just like any other family. Typical race day in my household. Hectic, is one way to describe it. Saturday morning's really just about finishing, sorting the truck out, loading up, scaling the car, setting it up. But yeah, it's always a, always a fight for the bathroom. On the race day morning, he takes forever in the bathroom. He takes for ages and in the bathroom, he, I don't know what he does, but it just takes forever. Back out on the track, Catherine was learning just how unpredictable racing can be, losing a wheel at the end of her heat. I don't know how it happened, but it just snapped off. But I did finish it, and they're fixing it now, so hopefully it'll be done for the final. While Catherine did make the final, big brother Tom remained firmly on course for the World Championship in September. In the meantime, the stock car paddock and the Harris family prepared to head home. My day went quite well. I could have done better, but I think it's all right. I got a tenth and an eighth, so yeah, I think it went quite well. We've actually won the World Championship qualifying points for the semi-final. So a good, good place in that, hoping for a top three. Get me on the front of the grid for the World Championship at Kings Inn in September. And uh, hopefully World Championship here we come.